This represents another tutorial in our series on the Infinity Analyze Microscopy Package. In this session, we look at image manipulation using the color composition function. This technique allows you to directly manipulate images collected from either color or monochrome images in order to create enhanced or altered results. In this tutorial, we'll go over the following steps. Adding images to the field group, understanding the color channels, selecting the output channels, and using the color composition tools. We rely on the camera to provide accurate color renditions of the samples placed under the microscope, and typically the white balance and exposure controls are used to produce optimal results. Sometimes the appearance of an image can be enhanced with additional processing on the separate red, green, and blue channels. In this tutorial, we'll show how color composition can be used for image enhancements or to create striking results by combining color channels in different ways. Within Analyze, the field group is used to hold copies of images for processing. Images can either be directed into the field group as they are captured from the camera, or they can be added into the field group by importing them from disk or from any image file opened within the program. We are just switching back and forth between the imaging control and the field group menus. To capture images directly from the camera into the field group, look under the Capture Options panel and see how the field group is selected as the destination. I'm going to go back into the field group and then capture an image from the live preview that we see on the screen. Notice how the image appears on the screen because we are previewing any captured images, but because we've selected the destination into the field group, it's now there as image number one within the field group. Going to the field menu allows me to import images from folders elsewhere. So I'm going to select some colors, colored images for the import menu from the list here and select open and notice how they go directly into the field group. Any images that have been previously captured can also be added directly into the field group and field group toolbars are up here for adding images, removing images from the field group, or clearing the field group. We'll work with the images that are displayed here. It's important to note that you must have one captured image or opened image file available in the working area of Analyze in order for the color composition menu to be available. So you see I went down to the field menu, the last option is color composition, and selecting that brings up the Combine Interactively or Color Composition dialog box. I'm now going to walk through a process where we look at the features and functions available on the Color Composition panel and explain what I'm doing as I go along. The results, uh, in this case, it's a somewhat artificial exercise. I'm selecting from uh, images captured using a color camera with different filters turned on on my microscope, so I'm going to select the channels and reassemble those images with some enhancements applied so we get an interesting result. A little later in this tutorial we'll work with monochrome images also captured from the sample using different filters and you'll get an idea of how the same process can be applied using monochrome uh, cameras. So the first area of interest on this panel is the channel selection. This is the selection for the output channel. So every image that we see in Analyze is composed of a red, green, and blue channel. Similarly, the colored cameras use red, green, and blue filters within the camera sensor to produce the output that the camera sees from your microscope. Here we're going to be able to manipulate those channels individually. So whether we're dealing with the red, green, or blue output channel is selected in this area of the dialog. Where the image data comes from uh, is chosen from this drop-down menu. You'll notice on the left-hand side we have four images, or what Analyze is calling fields, and each field consists of a red, green, and blue channel. So these three fields here, field 1, 
red, field 1 green, and field 1 blue pertain to the image that's listed in the field group as number 1, and these are the individual color channels. Since I'm dealing with my red output channel right now, <clears throat> I'm going to select some input data from this image that was captured using a color camera with a red filter enabled. That's field 4, and I'm interested in the red channel, so I'm going to load that. You see how it appears immediately in the color composite preview behind. I'm going to select my green channel output now, and now I'm going to move over to the input selection menu where I'm going to choose the input from this uh, green filtered image. That's field 3, and I'm interested in the green channel from that image as my input, so I'm going to select that, and you notice that's being added in to the color composite preview. Lastly, I'm going to choose my blue channel input, and I'm going to select that from this blue filtered field here, field 2, and once again I'm interested in the blue input channel, so I'm adding that in. You'll notice as I added each image, the histogram of the data in each of those three channels is displayed. The display mode menu tells me whether I'm looking at my preview as a composite of all three color channels, which is what it's set to right now, or if I want to look at a monochrome display of the active cha output channel. So in this case, blue is my active output channel, and displaying that channel in monochrome shows it as a monochrome image in the background. So what's displayed in my preview is the blue channel that came from this color image here. And you'll notice that the histogram is shown for that blue channel. If I prefer, I can look at that channel, the blue channel, um, as its color, as it will be displayed in the final composite. So that's just a matter of preference if you want to look at each of those individual channels. And I can look at what I've got loaded in my green channel as its color and what's loaded in my red. So once again, red, green, and blue are my outputs that I'm controlling at any given time. And whether I display the result as a composite or look at that individual red channel as a monochrome or as its final um, output in color, I can do either of those things. Sometimes it's convenient to look at these with uh, the monochrome output option turned on. So now I'm looking at the red output channel, and I notice that most of my data is in the bottom part of the histogram. I can use some of these controls here, logarithmic, exponential, histogram stretch or span or invert to manipulate that individual channel using lookup table enhancements. I can also manually control this diagonal line here by selecting the nodes with my mouse and moving them across to different parts of the image and this would allow me some specific control over the lookup table. I'm just going to reset that lookup table. For the red channel here, I'm going to choose Span, which stretches the histogram out to fill the available uh, intensity range. Now I'm going to look at my blue channel output. I notice I've got fairly compressed blue channel output also, and in this case I'm going to manipulate the histogram myself manually if you click your mouse on the outside of the nodes, you actually move the position of the node. And if you click in between the two nodes here, then you move the uh, line back and forth without actually changing the slope. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the histogram input and I'm mapping a smaller region of that input, the region between the x-axis of these two nodes, and I'm mapping it to 0 to 255, which is represented by the y-axis, uh, 0 being down here and 255 being up here on the top. So by taking uh, this slope of this line, I'm taking the data between these two nodes horizontally and stretching it out. If I apply that lookup table, you see the result is that I've taken my data and stretched it. The application of the lookup table enhancements is cumulative, so I can once again apply my node and stretch that blue channel data out further. If I'm unhappy with the results, all I have to do is click reload from the field group and the currently in active input channel will be reloaded and will be back at square one. The green channel I'm going to leave where it is. I'm going to look at my color composite now. I'm fairly happy with those results. I've manipulated the red and the blue channels and overlaid them with the green. I'm now going to click the OK button 
and my resulting color composite is displayed in a new window even though we were using this captured image as the container and the interim display once I click the OK button I'm seeing my results here on the screen now whether or not this particular color composition is relevant uh, to what you want to do that's something that depends on the stains you're using the illumination the filters that you're using and the overall objective for performing a color composition that's a very quick overview of color composition using images from a color camera I'm going to now reset this activity and explain using uh, monochrome channels to reset this activity I'm gonna close this image without saving it I'm gonna close this captured image I don't need that one at the moment um, I'm gonna get rid of the images from my field group so they're all cleared so after having cleared my field group I'm gonna go back to the field menu select import pick a couple of images that were collected from a monochrome camera open one of those images so I have a working container image here and I'm going to go to the field menu again color composition this time I want to load one of these images into the red channel and one into the blue since they're monochrome images the red green and blue channels will all be the same it doesn't really matter uh, which one I choose it's more important uh, what the contents of the image were uh, when they were selected so here I've loaded up the, the red and the blue channels I'm not very happy with that combination so I'm going to go back to pick the opposite combination I'm happier with that and the way that that looks so combining any two images whether you used uh, fluorescence whether you were using different dyes whether you were using different filters you can combine monochrome images in this way you can use uh, any of the tools available you can invert uh, a particular channel for example I'm just inverting the red channel uh, you can do an exponential um, histogram stretch uh, you can reload from the field group to get back to normal um, all the same tools we were using before you can also if you create a custom lookup table and you want to use that repeatedly on a set of samples you can save your lookup table and then when you go to do another color composition you can reload a lookup table and then apply it to your image so I'm clicking OK it's created the color composite resulting from these monochrome images over here that were collected and you can see um, the striking results that you can get from using the color composition tool and that concludes our tutorial session on color composition where we've looked at adding images into the field group looking at the color channels selecting your output channels and manipulating those color channels to produce that result be sure to check out the other tutorials in our infinity analyze video tutorial series